the city manager would never write a misleading report. Well, I'm sorry. Um, I would point out a report about the Cullen Miniatures, where the city manager put his name to a report that said the Cullen Miniatures were worth $800,000. Mr. Hammond. Sorry, Rosemary. Well, I, I think the, uh, the you know, I'd like to start with an outline of the reporting mechanism used for Ron Foster, the Auditor General, whose report AG 1309 is under investigation. And I quote, the auditor should be free to establish his work plan independent of counsel or staff intervention and have the independence and authority to issue reports and findings regardless of the potential impact. The Auditor General was not questioned about the report by counsel. Instead, we end up with an extraordinary motion that prevents any questions or discussion about the Auditor General report. And a consultant, Mr. George Rusty, is hired to investigate the allegations in AG 1309. It's as if counsel is saying to their Auditor General, how dare you, Auditor General, ask questions, point out methods to improve practices, challenge the status quo, and tell us how we could have saved money on the transaction. But isn't that the job description of the Auditor General? So who decided the information that they had was not relevant to the, to the investigation? I'm referring to the three city employees who was fired. Somehow disappeared out of yeah, that. Councillor Neal, that's, that's not... A not appropriate. Uh, well, I don't know why they're missing because well, I don't know what Councillor Neal, staff, is where they are, why they were let go. <laughs> Councillor Neal, be respectful. I still don't know why they were let go. Councillor Neal, I'm just saying. Okay, so. continue with your questions. So sometimes you can say it all in T-shirt. Sure, I don't know. Uh, and, and I'm anyways. not sure why they weren't questioned. Yeah, probably. Well, we can do exit interviews, I guess. Mr. Ha sorry, Mr. Hammond, that, that's your second warning, and I'm sorry. You're distracting and clapping, and I warned you once. Mr. Hammond, there's no discussion. Tell me how you clap with one hand. You're clapping your neck with your hand, and I'm watching. Mr. Hammond, it's not a debate. I'm asking you to leave now. Security? Mr. Hammond, thank you. I'd like to ask we, a question that's been asked of me over the break. Back to order yet. When did you allow undercover officers with guns to enter the, the council chamber? Would it not have been sufficient to have officers who were in uniform? Would it not have been sufficient to have officers in uniform? Yeah. Do you know what? Security, would you remove Mr. Steele, please? Mr. Mayor, I asked the question, and I want to know, when did you realize, when did you, chambers are in control. Mr. Mayor, when did you call the police to I come did not on uniform to this meeting this I evening? I did not call the police. Can you tell me who did? I have no idea, but I was... What do you mean you have no idea? You're on the police services board. Ex excuse me, the Councillor Mayor. Patrick. Mr. Mayor. I'm not going to debate this issue. I, I'm not debating. I'm asking a question. I deserve an answer, and so does the public that's here tonight. Uh, and you're aware of the rules, Councillor Mayor Petrie, that a person on the board cannot use his position. Who called him? Who, I, I have no who idea. Who told the RPS to come ununiformed to this meeting? I'm just happy they're here. Sorry? No one knows. I think we should hire George Rusty to find out. I think we got another hundred thousand dollars. Mr. Steele today. has been asked to be removed from the chamber. Mr. Mayor, would it not? Would it not be sufficient to have uniformed officers as any council chambers would when have? we call the meeting back to order? Already. We have ununiformed officers that could be on the streets taking care of crack problems. Uh, can you tell us who brought them in? Because in fairness to the officers, 
they should know that we didn't know either. Would you get the police officer? Why are you taking control of the meeting and stopping it? Listen, you Mayor Henry, why are you asking the police to be here right now? You could be asking controlling this room. Hey, are you on council? Are you on council? Are you on council? You're not. We're contributing. You're staff. You're not on council. Did you call people and you didn't tell us about it? You're not on council. You can't go along with everybody you don't like. What I saw there was an officer, your your council person, somebody that works for you, assaulting one of the citizens here. John, that is so wrong. That is so wrong. Your security assaulted him. He offered to get up. I heard him with my own ears. He said, I'm going to get up. Yeah, Please step back and I'll get up. I heard and that too. Guy assaulted him. This marginalizes our DAG's uh, duties, responsibilities, and it, it diminishes the credibility of this council. It diminishes the credibility of you, Your Worship. It diminishes the credibility of staff. And as a taxpayer in this community, I'm appalled that this council uh, led by Councillor Diamond and Councillor Chapman hijacked uh, that meeting on... Please don't use that word. They kept a report detailing or outlining some concerns with the purchase of 199 Wentworth Street East from public with a motion that was irresponsible to the taxpayers of this community. Can't, can't use words like that. Well, I'm sorry, Your Worship, but unfortunately it's the truth, and I know the truth is hard for you to bear because uh, you don't like the truth being spoken in this chamber. Oshawa Mayor John Henry has stated he didn't know the undercover officers were at the meeting, but was happy they were. Henry says it could happen again if police feel it's necessary. As a lower tier community, the police work for the regional government, and I will not dictate to the police, nor can I, um, what they can and cannot do. It's their operational orders. It's how they they feel fit to deal with this. And we're not the only community that's had undercover officers in their council chambers. There's been others. 